So now let's take a look at implementing the print method. All this is going to involve is a traversal down the list. So if we go back to the example uh, where we were exploring and tinkering with our node class, you can see here that I start at the beginning of the list, I do a traversal, and I print the object stored in the node. So this really is going to be our print method. So again, we declare it. It is a void type. The name of the class is list of ints. And it's the print method. And this time I'm going to remember that it is constant. And it's constant because it doesn't change the internal state of the list of integers. And we want to declare this constant in case we have a constant list and we want to be able to print its contents. So again, let me just draw a picture here. I have a list of integers. And we have head pointer. I'm going to shorten my notation up a little bit. So we have 5, 10, and 15 stored in my list of integers. And what we want to do is we want to print 5, 10, and 15. Well, this involves a traversal. And, of course, you're going to start at the beginning of the list. And we're going to use temp pointer for that traversal. And it should start at the head of the list, which head pointer points to. So now I have temp pointer pointing to here. And I am going to traverse the list as long as temp pointer points to some node. When temp pointer becomes null, that's when I stop. So as long as temp pointer does not point to null, then I want to do the following. Well, we're pointing at a node. We know that we're pointing at a node, otherwise we wouldn't have entered the while loop. So the first thing I need to do is I need to print that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot that I'm using the O stream out. So I've got my O stream out. I'm not going to go to C out. I'm going to go to the parameter that comes in. It defaults to C out. And I want to print the object stored in the node that temp pointer points to. And I can get that object by calling get object. And I'll just assume that I want these objects to appear on an individual line. You can also imagine that maybe we want them to be comma separated, but for our purposes we'll just put them on each individual line. Now that I've printed this object, I can advance the pointer to the next node in the list, and to do that I say temp pointer is equal to temp pointer get next pointer. And that sets me up to print the next element, which by looping, I'll do that. So that is the end of my while loop. Next, I'll print 10. I'll advance the pointer, print 15. Advance the pointer. At that point, temp pointer becomes null. That satisfies my termination condition, but I've printed all the elements. And at that point, I can terminate the execution of print. And an important point here is when this method terminates, what is deallocated? Only the local variables. So only temp pointer is deallocated. So temp pointer goes away, and it leaves the list that head pointer points to intact. 